Shown here is a small-scale photovoltaic arrangement consisting of nine individual solar cells. Each solar cell utilizes the various wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum from sunlight, such as visible and ultraviolet, and converts that photonic energy into usable electricity. Here, we are using this electricity to initiate a relatively simple chemical reaction, which is the water splitting reaction, also known as electrolysis. As you can see, two nickel electrodes, one positive and one negative, are placed in a solution of pure water and sodium carbonate. When a direct current is applied, the separation of water into each of its components occurs, producing hydrogen and oxygen gas as a result. However, since water alone is not a decent conductor of electricity because it is electrically neutral, the addition of an electrolyte, which ionically dissociates in solution, is necessary to initiate this chemical reaction. For every two water molecules, two hydrogen gas and one oxygen gas molecule is formed. At the negative terminal, hydrogen gas is being produced in a reduction reaction. And at the positive terminal, an oxidation reaction is occurring, producing oxygen gas. Hydrogen is an energy-rich fuel that can be used to power automobiles and generate heat. The hydrogen and oxygen gas would need to be separated because of their explosive nature. Hydrogen gas can be stored carefully, whereas the oxygen can be released into the atmosphere. Whenever energy is needed, hydrogen can be extracted from storage and it can be allowed to recombine with oxygen from the atmosphere, forming water and energy. This is the same process by which hydrogen fuel cells operate. Our research aims to seek out feasible and economically viable inorganic nanomaterials that act as photocatalysts for this reaction and that would lower the cost of the process by a factor of 100.